As a heads up, this video has chapters down below regarding today's topics. That is, introducing Pretendo, demonstrating the steps to set it up with Simu, and discussing some current limitations to using it with Simu. As with the rest of my guides, feel free to skip around if there's a specific topic you came to see. After all, it's your guide. Use it how you need it. All right, let's dig in. For those unfamiliar, Nintendo will be permanently shuttering its online services for Wii U and 3DS in just a few weeks from this video going live. That means, except for a few niche services like Pokemon Bank, all Nintendo games from both systems won't be able to connect to the internet for online matchmaking or general communications. Even as someone who doesn't frequently use the online services of either system these days, it's a sad time for the loss of future gamers being able to experience gameplay from titles like Splatoon that require online services to show everything they have to offer. That being said, all of this was inevitable. Servers take money to run and especially considering the more recent security vulnerabilities found with certain games, extra staff to maintain and keep afloat. As we move on to the era of the Switch's successor, there's little value for a company to expend resources to appease a dwindling pool of users. It sucks. But that's the reality of the situation. Luckily, the community stepped in to take all that extra effort off Nintendo's hands and keep online functionality alive with the help of a service called Pretendo. To be clear, Pretendo has no affiliation with Nintendo, but is working toward recreating the same online experiences currently offered for Wii U and 3DS through the official servers, just backed by the community and the Pretendo team's sheer force of will. Better yet, this solution works not only with original hardware, but also Simu. Even now, with Nintendo's servers still online, it's an incredibly useful tool for emulation and setting up group play on many screens at once across a variety of different hardware. Now, Pretendo as a service has actually been around for quite some time. My first knowledge of its existence actually came from John Cartwright's videos over on Good Vibes Gaming just a couple years ago. If you want to check out a video less about the emulation side of Pretendo, definitely go check out his latest video. It's a great watch and I'll have a link to it down in the video description. In general, the service promises to be a drop-in solution for Nintendo's own servers, with very few differences. If you have a game with online matchmaking or an app with online functionality, connecting to someone else over the internet is the exact same as on Nintendo's official servers. Well, actually, not actually the same. The one major difference is that through Pretendo, the Miiverse is actually still active. Nintendo shut down Miiverse, the Wii U's own social network for Nintendo games, back in 2017. Alongside limiting social features on Wii U and 3DS, the shutdown also made certain gameplay mechanics, like the Miiverse stamps in Super Mario 3D World, completely useless. To my knowledge, none of these Miiverse functions were ever necessary to progress in any games, but losing them did reduce some of the games' charms if nothing else. Luckily, by playing these games these days, through Pretendo's Miiverse substitute, Juxtaposition, all these features are now available to use again. While connected to Pretendo, users can post to Juxtaposition through the original Miiverse app, post stamps when in games, or do any of the other Miiverse-centric game mechanics that originally made the Wii U less of an isolating experience compared to other consoles at the time. Splatoon in particular, benefits from the re-edition of Miiverse features more than most other games, with all the community posts now on display while hanging out in Inkopolis, and Miiverse art shown as graffiti during matches. If ever there were an argument as to why Pretendo needs to exist, preservation of this specific communal game mechanic in Splatoon kinda explains it all. Which brings us to the first question of the video. How do you go about setting Pretendo up? Well, first you need three key things to get started. One, a Wii U with custom firmware. Two, an SD card to store files for that Wii U. And then three, a computer to move files to the SD card. The current firmware you'll want to install to your Wii U is called Aroma. And I'll have links to a good guide down in the video description 
for more information if you're unfamiliar with it. I installed Aroma to my Wii U for this video, and it took me maybe 10 minutes to set up following that guide. Also, it is worth noting that even if you're only looking to use Pretendo for emulation via Simu, you'll still need a modded Wii U to correctly download the right files to connect your account to online services. Though, I'm guessing that should be no problem, right? Considering if you're already emulating Wii U games, you already own a Wii U and copies of all the games you're emulating right? Well, with your modded Wii U in hand, you'll next go to Pretendo's website and set up a free account for yourself. This account will act as an equivalent to your Nintendo network ID when connecting to Pretendo. You can even design a me right on your profile settings to associate with your account if you don't feel like setting it up on your Wii U. While accounts are free to set up, I also might recommend signing up to a subscription to help support the project further if it's in your budget, of course. $5 gets you access to certain channels on their Discord, while $10 unlocks access to beta servers. Both are well worth it to help out a project like this. After setting up your account, just hop on over to the Docs installation section and select Install to Wii U Guide. Here, they have step-by-step -step details on what you need to connect to Pretendo. For me, that amounted to downloading two plugins, RCE patches and Inke plugging my Wii U's SD card into a computer, adding the files to my Aroma plugins folder on my SD card, and then returning the SD card to my Wii U is all I needed to do. The next time I booted my Wii U, it connected straight to Pretendo. However, to get full access, I also went through the process of adding a new user to my system, as they suggest on the site. Instead of using my Nintendo account for the new user, I entered the ID and password for my Pretendo account I just created, and it even imported the me I created through my profile. From there, connecting to online services is no different than connecting via Nintendo's official services. Except, of course, when I tap on the Miiverse icon, Pretendo's juxtaposition automatically loads instead of the old Miiverse service. You'll want to make that one of the first things you do when booting up your Wii U with Pretendo to make sure all the Miiverse features in games are re-enabled. All in all, going from an unmodded Wii U to playing on Pretendo servers was a smooth experience for me that took under half an hour without rushing. Now that Pretendo's set up on your Wii U, let's take it a step further and get set up for emulation via Simu. Last year, I released a video walking folks through the process of using an app called Dumpling to make backups of Wii U games. Setting up Pretendo with Simu uses the exact same process with just a few more steps. Since you already have custom firmware running on your Wii U, you actually have two options to get Dumpling up and running. The first is the old-fashioned way. Open the internet browser on your Wii U and type in the URL dumplingapp.com. Click yes on any pop-ups and then launch the app. After some waiting, the browser will disappear, the screen will turn white, and then you'll enter into a blue menu with various options for backing up your games and online files. The second option you have is to install the Dumpling app to your Wii U directly. I downloaded my copy via the Homebrew store, but you can also install it manually via copying it to your SD card from the project's GitHub page. The app install option has been the most reliable to me so far. Using Dumpling through the browser has tended to stall just every so often, requiring me to restart my Wii U. And since installing Aroma, it actually hasn't wanted to work at all. Your mileage may vary, but definitely go the app route if it sounds more convenient or you're also experiencing issues. With Dumpling open, use the D-pad to select the backup online files options. On the next screen, you'll then use the D-pad to put the cursor on your profile and then tap left or right to select your Pretendo profile, if you have multiple profiles on your system, like me. Afterward, proceed with the dump and exit the app once it's finished. You can now shut down your Wii U and move your SD card to the computer that you'll use to set up Simu. Simu setup is perhaps the biggest pain among this entire process, due to primarily needing to put specific files in very specific folder locations. To start, make sure you have the latest version of Simu installed from the official website. If you installed Simu previously, you might also want to make sure that you have any updates installed before continuing. To use Pretendo, you'll need Simu version 2.0 or later. Once everything's installed, open both your Simu folder 
and SD card folder side by side on your computer for these next steps. Start by opening the dumpling folder on your SD card. Then from the online files folder, you want to copy two files, otp.bin and cprom.bin to your cmove folder. Next, from your cmove folder, open your mlc folder. This folder is often called mlc01 and is created when you first boot simu to store all of your account details. If you can't find yours, you can verify the folder's location by opening simu, clicking Options, General Settings, and checking your MLC path. Similarly, if you forgot to set a path during setup, you can select whatever folder you'd like as your MLC folder from this menu. After opening your MLC folder, you should see two subfolders, Sys and User. From your SD card, Find these two same folders by double-clicking on the folder with the profile name you want to import and clicking into the MLC01 folder. Drag the sys and user folders from your SD card onto the folders in your Simu MLC folder to merge them. If you get a pop-up asking you to replace files, choose to replace all files. Once the copying completes, open Simu, navigate to Options General Settings, select account options, and then from there, you'll want to select the button to connect to the internet via Pretendo. Then check the box to enable online mode. If this is the first online account you're adding to Simu, you should see your Pretendo ID automatically next to your network selection options. If not, or you have multiple accounts, you may need to select the drop-down menu to select your ID manually. If you still don't see your ID, Try restarting Simu and coming back to this menu. If you still don't see anything, then try recopying all of your files as the next step. When all your files are placed correctly and you see your ID on the screen, you should see a circle with a check mark letting you know that you're ready to go online. If not, you should see an error message telling you which specific files are missing in which specific locations. To fix the error, Find those specific files from your SD card and add them to the specific folder location on your computer mentioned within the error message. Until you resolve these errors, you won't be able to connect to Pretendo. Once your files are squared away, just close out of the menu and launch into the game you'd like to play online. Going forward, any online functionality should automatically run through Pretendo's servers. That brings us to the final question of this video. What kind of experience should you expect once connected? Well, just remember to manage your expectations for now. In the short time I've spent launching games through the service, the servers aren't consistently populated with players. The night before recording this video, I spent over half an hour sitting in the Splatoon lobby and never saw more than one other person join the queue at a time. Meanwhile, today, I joined a match without issue. Given that Nintendo's official servers are still online, that's kind of to be expected. But for the moment, you have to either get lucky or loop a group of people into being online at the same time. Though, from the few Splatoon matches I have been able to play, the servers feel like a relatively smooth experience, with very few disconnects. Even during moments when I'm up close and personal with another player, I haven't felt any rubber banding or serious delay in our interactions. Who knows if this will actually hold up once the servers are more crowded, but hey, it's a good sign nonetheless. When trying to connect for yourself, just remember that compatibility still isn't 100% for all features in all games. As stated by their progress page, more than a few key features on popular games are still listed as works in progress or as part of the team's roadmap. More obscure games or games with complex online functionality may also not be as smooth an experience as the more popular titles. Plus, Miiverse compatibility also isn't a thing via Simu. Anytime I use an in-game feature to post to Miiverse, Simu either does nothing or crashes. Furthermore, passive Miiverse integrations like Splatoon's Inkopolis Plaza don't function at all. I'm guessing there will need to be some additional work specifically for Simu compatibility to make those features operate as intended, which is a bit of a bummer considering how well it all works on the Wii U right now. 
It's hard to tell if juxtaposition specifically will ever come to Simu, but again, it's worth remembering that it's all relatively early days for a lot of this stuff. Considering the amount of work that's already been done to get to this point, it's fair to give the devs as much time as they need to first get everything working as expected on original hardware before even worrying about emulated consoles. For now, if you're choosing to use Pretendo with Simu, you're exclusively doing it to play online multiplayer. But even without crowded servers, there's one nifty thing you can do right now that might make Pretendo come in clutch for many players, and that's private matchmaking. Both Splatoon and Mario Kart 8 have full support for private rooms right now. That's nice for folks who want to play remotely with friends, but it also means that a ton of folks could play locally over the servers using separate displays and a mixture of Simu and original hardware, as long as each person has their own Pretendo account, of course. Multiplayer on a single system has always been possible, but this option is likely to make life much easier for folks using random computers to connect outside official servers. While testing the service for this video, my wife and I were able to connect our Steam Deck to our Wii U for a few quick races in Mario Kart 8. The connection was immediate and solid for both of us. During the race, there was more than a little delay between our two devices in the same room, but it was more than playable and still a ton of fun. The only real wrinkle I found was that our Miis appeared without faces in Simu, which um, is more than a little creepy, to be honest. If you're looking to similarly create private lobbies with your friends or significant others, just make sure to also dump the friend list app on your Wii U. That way, you don't need to boot up your console anytime you want to add or manage your friends. From my experience, it loads and operates the same as it does on official hardware, while being just a bit more convenient overall. Ultimately, Pretendo is shaping up to be an excellent way to keep the spirit of Wii U gaming alive far past its natural death. Even if online servers never get to the population of the Wii U at its heyday, the reintegration of Miiverse features via juxtaposition on original hardware and the ease of private online matches between Simu and original hardware are undoubtedly going to come in handy in the future. As I mentioned before, if you'd like to support the Pretendo project, check out the link in the video description to their website. Set up your own profile, let others know that it exists as a publicly available free option, and consider supporting them financially if it's within your budget. After you do that, you can also drop into the comments to tell me and others about your experiences so far using the Pretendo network. Feel free to also use the space to advertise your Pretendo ID to connect with others or suggest games you'd love to see more folks start playing. While the official servers are still online, the Pretendo devs are actually looking for file dumps from folks playing as many obscure games as possible. Be sure to check out their Discord or website guide for more info if you'd like to help out. Then, as always, if you found this video helpful or informative, go ahead and click the like button to let me know and get subscribed for more dual screen gaming content in the very near future. If you're looking for more info on dumpling to back up your games, I'll also have a link to my previous video on the screen alongside my latest video showing off an easy way to make a portable dual screen Steam Deck. That's going to be all for this video though. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end. I hope to see y'all randomly on Pretendo Splatoon lobbies one day, but until next time, catch you later.